Hey guys, Jack of all trades. How's it going? Happy New Year. I haven't made a video in quite a while. Uh, I've been busy. Uh, we've had quite a lot of rain here and uh, with rain comes lightning and that causes a lot of problems with my solar panels. Let me show you. This is a uh, two. Let me just get up. This is a 250 watt panel, 8 amp, and uh, 30.9 volts. Um, I had seven of them, they're all up here on this roof. There's a whole bunch of them over here. So, uh, I had a lightning strike, I think it struck that tree and it dispersed over the roof. And this is what happened. I'm quite lucky. Last time I had these diodes that popped, but as you can see right over here, the wires are melted off. So this is a quite a quick fix. Obviously you've got to use your meter to measure the diodes to make sure that they only take current through in one direction. Um, I'll show you that now. But these ones, I just solder them. I just use the soldering iron. I pop these off here and you see these ones are open. So I swap them with each other and make a new connection and a new connection. This one's also off. <laughs> so this is the negative side. This is the positive side. The reason why I turn the panel over is so that there's no electricity on it because they can shock you quite badly. Um, here's the meter. Let me show you. Here is one that I've just fixed just standing up against the wall here and uh, so it's not under load and look at that 31.3 yeah so it was quite a quick fix I'm gonna take one of these out and show you how to measure the uh, diode just to make sure that they are fine right so we just take the uh, star screwdriver and we're going to undo all of these over here. Then we're going to use the uh, soldering iron. up the old solder and just pop these off so there we go they'll And then you just, these are just little connector plates that uh, actually ties up these uh, diodes. Everything got quite hot, so uh, with the lightning strike, some of them that I've opened up already, uh, the plastic uh, like this over here is completely melted away. So, uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this. There you go. And we're going to put the meter on. And this is how you measure diodes. It only takes current through one direction. So, we pop one of these out. Grab it this side, this side. You see, nothing is happening. We flip the diode around. 600, 599. You see that there? That's how you test all of them. So you just run through them, test them all, put them back again, and put the plates up. 
So now I'm just pushing these old leads through again. It's kind of stuck in there. And I just use one of these bad boys. This one is quite hard because of the lighting strength. So what I do is I just cut about three centimeters off. And there we go. And these ones that were in the middle, we're gonna put them on the sides. So we just get them in there use this and then we just crimp it back down and pull on it to make sure that it doesn't come free and then you know you've got a good joint and then they just slide back in again same story with this one back down and now for the pierce the resistance we are going to uh, solder the wires back on to get the connection back from the panel Just hold it down with the screwdriver so that it can dry once I remove the soldering iron. Blow on it and Bob's your uncle. So there we go. As you can see we've got new joints and that will sold it back. This just has a little rubber with a plate and you just pop it back in. Make sure you don't push too hard and break your damn panel. <laughs> and then you can measure the ends of the leads while it's back in the sun and it should be working fine. Right, so uh, there you guys have it. That's the uh, quick and easy way how to fix your solar panels after they've been struck by lightning. This is obviously in the case of if none of the actual cells got damaged. Uh, if it was just the wires or the diodes. The diodes, you can buy them loose. They're not expensive. So it's easy to fix them. Hope it helped you guys and uh, have a happy and a blessed new year. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you guys. Cheers.